in a situation where you only have one receiver and the area you are working on does not have an active internet connection or cell phone reception. The method that I'm going to demonstrate now is PPK stop and go using Nship or a cost station. In this scenario, we will log static raw data on the rover and then to post process our position so that we get accurate position, we will download raw data from our local Nship or cost station. The local Nship or cost station will act as our base which we will get raw data from and then the rover data we will get from our own rover receiver. I will now proceed to connect to the receiver using the Wi-Fi method, then we will go to Ridge V3 and then we will look at the settings on how this is done. So let's proceed with connecting to the receiver with the Wi-Fi method. We will select on Wi-Fi, then select our rover receiver. As, as usual, the password is mlidrich, all small letters. Then join. Once it's connected, we will now go to reach V3. In reach V3, we will select on logging. Then select on start logging in order to log raw data. Our rover receiver is now logging raw data. We will now proceed to go out of logging. The next step will be to create a survey project where we will collect our points. Even though these positions will have single solution, we will post-process the positions so that they are centimeter level accurate using the data from the base and from the rover. The base in this case is our end trip station. Let's now proceed with creating our project. Select on the plus on the top right hand side. Input your project name. Select your coordinate system. In this case, we are working on the Harte BS Duke 94 LO29. If you want to use a vertical data, select the vertical datum you would like to use. Ensure that you are using the correct linear units, in this case, meters. Then select on save. Our project is now created. We can now proceed with collecting the points we want to survey. Input your point name, and also a description. Input your pole height. In this case, the pole height we're using is two meters. Then save. The averaging depends on the distance you are from your base station. In this case, the base station is the end ship station. So for every kilometer away from the base station, it is recommended to collect data for at least a minute. So if you are one kilometer away from your base station, you will collect the point for at least one minute. If you are two kilometers, two kilometers. In this case, we are around about five kilometers. So we will select our averaging to be five minutes. Then select on save. To help with centering the bubble for the recommended time, we recommend using a bipod. This will help with stabilizing the bubble. Once you have collected all your points, you must remember, once you get to the office, you have to download the base station or cost station raw data for the same time interval that you were collecting your points on site.